Let's talk about a fantastic Elgato Stream Deck alternative, the Ulanzi D200H. That's right, this is a relatively new control deck dock. Now, the deck dock because, well, this actually is also a USB dock. You get a dock for managing your media. Yes, USBs as well as SD cards. Right now, Elgato has the game on Smash with their marketplace, but what I've seen so far with this marketplace here, it's pretty decent. Yes, so you have a lot of options. Same, pretty much the same core power. Customizations, automations, controlling your desktop, your studio, your lights, everything. With a little guy like this for half the price. That's right. This one here coming in at about 80 bucks. 160 if you multiply that times two that's about the same price as the 15 key elgato steam deck steam deck what wrong device stream deck so let's take a look at it see what you get in your box for that amount of cash and if this is going to be an excellent alternative let's look in the box here we are without deck dock in your face exit gamers right off of the top you're gonna get your instructions that's right so you may want to go through this manual to see what this is all about this is just a deck controller it's also a docking station yep wow look at the size of this bag this is like triple the size of this this looks nice and shiny and creamy look at the reflective gloss on those buttons and the matte body and just looking off to the side usb 3.0 a usb a as well as a usb c for your media and whatever else you want to plug into this device and you have more ports on the back that's right Nice Ulanzi branding there, embossed 3.0 port, USB port, USB-C power port, and host port there for connecting to your computer. That's right. And what do we have here on the other side? We have an SD card slot as well as a micro SD card slot, posting about 100 megabytes or so. What else we got in the box? We got a little box of accessories, probably just a USB cable. Looks like to be a decent length, and I see USB-C to USB-A. 3.0 cable, nice and thick. This is pretty robust cable. USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to USB-A. And that's all you get in your box, Xbox Gamers. And with that, let's just go ahead and plug this in and jump into the software because, well, that's the way we're going to program this bad boy to do what we want it to do. Let's do it. All right, Xbox Gamers, first things first, when you get your device and you go ahead and plug that into your bad boy computer, you want to go over to the Ulanzi site to get the Ulanzi Studio. So here we are on the Ulanzi site on the product page for the Ulanzi. Oh, there's a nice little sale on this as of the making of this video. So if I get this video out fast enough, you may be able to capitalize on this sale. And once you are on their website, what you want to do is doesn't matter which page you're on. You want to go over to their support tab here on the top, hover over it and you'll see the options come over and go over to downloads. And from downloads, you just run it's right in your face you can't miss it so whether you have mac or windows which is the only two things it supports so make sure you got that sorry linux users once you are all installed you launch it you got a nice desktop setup and just going really quickly through some of the features packed in with the software i have some profiles already installed this is the default profile you see right here in your face right when you plug it in installs and installs a lot of default stuff, including OBS here on the side. All of this comes pre-installed and this is your deck. You can add pages, of course, As you can see there is a big button there. So if I go over to my OBS side of things, you'll see that I have a background there and I have a clock that does three things. Basically, you can set a background to whatever you like. You press that button again. It gives you your CPU, RAM and GPU. And then when you press it again, blank. You can just turn it off if you don't want to see it and back to the clock. OK, so I noticed that my camera is blocking the top right. I'm going to disable my camera, which I have set up here on my deck. So if you look at my desk, I do have it set so that my Canon camera is turned off. So if I go back to my desktop, you won't see my face. So that's what that button does. And we have some buttons here on the top right. It's probably going to take you to the ULANZI website. Yep. And if you need to update your software or grab any other applications, they kind of direct you directly there, which is pretty cool. You have a ULANZI Connect desktop, formerly Lightmaster for Windows, which I have installed. So make sure you have the compatible devices for this. And it will tell you here 
what it supports. Settings, general settings, right? We got our device here updated. This is the latest and greatest as of this video. Switch over to the device here. As you can see, you can toggle up and down the brightness. The device itself doesn't get too bright, just bright enough. If you have a very dim sort of room, it will suffice but not the brightest, but you can get this pretty dim. If you have your lights completely off, you're gaming in a dark room, you're gonna probably wanna turn it dim. You don't need it so bright and blasting in your eyeballs and you can completely turn it off like that. Profile, so you can manage your profiles here. You can delete them, import profiles if you have other profiles from other machines, which I would suggest probably creating nice profiles and if you have multiple decks of this sort on other computers. You don't want to do the work twice. Import your profiles or export them. Plugins, and here I have installed a plugin by Govi because I do have a Govi light strip so I can set my ambiance with the press of a button on the deck. For style, this is just for setting the global font settings basically on all of your buttons. So I have mine set to 12. It was 10 out of box. It was a little small for my fading eyesight and the color, and you can choose to display or not display by default, all right? And you can choose to have them at the top, middle, or bottom. Pretty cool, I keep it at the top because, well, that works for me. Let's go to the App Store. The App Store is flooded with lots and lots of stuff, Tag Easy Gamers, this is fantastic. Plugins galore, like I said, a lot of these plugins are pretty much similar or the same as you see on the Elgato Stream Deck, and mostly all of these other deck docs that you see out there profile tons and tons of profiles that supports some of your industry leading software or applications that's right including adobe with photoshop CapCut, most of the most popular things you're using out there affinity photo in case you don't want to use photoshop premiere for my programmers we have PyCharm. yep profiles for your pleasure and when you click and install a profile they will show up right here so I have the Windows 11 Essentials Manager Affinity Photo because I use Affinity Photo for my thumbnails and graphic designing. Icons as well. Icons galore, tech and gamers, you name it. This is the default profile, but there are manufacturer specific profiles, stuff for Zoom, for CapCut, for Photoshop, Affinity Photo. So you can customize your deck to look as you would like it and for the applications you use most, right? You'll know which buttons to use because they will match the buttons that are in the applications themselves. Over here on the right, as you can see, there is a little plus sign you click that this is for setting a preset for docs so you can create a default preset create a link preset based off of an app and you can import a local preset and of course on the right let me show you how i set up my obs obs how did i set up these divide these buttons here for obs for switching scenes and turning on cameras like such and switching to my desk view with my other camera and then switching back to my main camera and then I have another third camera here by Obsbot somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Wow, it's all the way zoomed out. You can see a little bit of my camera. Just to show you how I set up some of these buttons, they're pretty much drag and drop. So real quickly, what I can do is show you an example here. I'm going to drag and drop source visibility, which is what this Canon is here. So right now I have actually activated it. Well, dragged and dropped it. So now it's blank. So now it's, it's literally not going to do anything when I press it. So... I have to program it. You set up your device down here. We'll call that a uh, small cam 12 font by default. So it's a good size. And then you click the scene desktop and the resource is Canon. I believe that's the right one. So if I press that, yep, there you go. And I, uh, just like that, I programmed a button for your viewing pleasure and it is working. The cool thing about OBS and this application I've struggled with another deck because I have to always enter a WebSocket to make it connect to OBS. And it was like, sometimes with disconnect and you have to get the right passcode, you have to write the right IP, your IP changes. So you have to reserve your IP. So it's like, sometimes it just disconnects from OBS and it's kind of a pain to keep doing that. The Ulanzi D200H, you plug it, it detects it and it just works. Setting up folders is also a breeze like I have here. You just have to point this to the folder or the directory on your computer. So that way it knows what to open, whether it be a folder or application. All you gotta do to create a folder is to drag and drop this under system, which is already here by default with the Ulanzi D200. Comes shipped, drag and drop it to your corner here. And you can just choose an app or a file to open. That's right. So, and you have a little icon here to 
designate which you would like. So what you would do is you would click the folder icon here and you would just point to see your OBS recording, select the folder and it already creates the folder and it creates a nice icon actually. This is pretty cool by default, but if you want to keep it thematic, we can change that icon to let's choose an icon and I have a folder icon here. And just like that, we are back with OBS. I don't think we need all this, just put OBS know what that is all right and just like that we have OBS and we can press that button and it will open up the folder one other thing I want to mention in this video is that I am using a wireless mic sometimes I just want to move my mic around because I turn and I talk and you plug it into the side of your deck dock yes so if you can see here I have my dongle for the mic right there plugged in because that this is a USB hub. Yes, for managing things like devices you want to connect, you want to get attached storage and manage your media. They are 3.0 speeds, so you get pretty decent media transfer and viewing and that sort of thing. It's a hub outside of just being a deck. You have a MacBook with SD card slots, you record it with a camera, and you want to plug it into your computer, but your PC doesn't have an SD card slot. The deck has an SD card slot, so you can plug it in there and get all your stuff. So it's a little bit of a workstation, has workstation capabilities here. So pretty nice, and it has multiple USB ports. The only thing I will say is that make sure when you plug in that USB port, you have your dock also connected to power because they may need that additional power to support like an external SSD if you want it to work off of an external SSD. Plug it into power all the time. Have it both plugged in so that way anytime you, oh, I want to plug something in, it already has the power support. You plug in a microphone, you plug in a SSD, you plug in whatever to it. It's going to support everything. So nice setup with this dock. In terms of the hardware, I do like the hardware. There is no RGB. It's fine if you don't need RGB. This is has enough lights with the buttons themselves. Buttons themselves are okay. It's very tactile, I would say. Nice hardware, nice buttons. Obviously, all of the USB ports work fantastic. Data speeds are pretty good at 3.0. If you don't know what 3.0 data speeds is, ask ChatGPT or Google it. What? Google it. Not Google it. Google it. It could use a stand. It's kind of flat, flush on my table. So maybe if it was propped up just a little bit more, like the Ulanzi D200. Maybe that would be more to my taste. But outside of that, fantastic device, fantastic software. Yes, it works pretty good. I haven't had any bugs with it. Updated software, updated the firmware. Um, yeah, it's plug and play with OBS, which is a fantastic thing. The marketplace could use probably just a bit more stuff, but that's it's up and coming. There's going to be more stuff added to it. That marketplace will develop and get bigger. All right, Tekken the Gamers, if you're interested in the device, links are in the description. Well, with that, I'll see you in my next Awesome Sauce video. Later.